The CCS Load and Go is a low-cost, handheld, in-circuit programmer and debugger that was developed in order to provide mobile programming capabilities for field units without the need for a PC. Let's take a look at some of the advantages the Load and Go has over other types of in-circuit programmers and debuggers, along with how to use it by storing a program to its memory and programming a microchip PIC microcontroller without being connected to a PC. The Load and Go can be used as a standard in-circuit programmer and debugger, allowing you to program microcontrollers using the CCS Load or by using the CCS C Compiler's C Aware Advanced Debugger. However, unlike other programmers and debuggers, the Load and Go has four onboard memory slots, each of which are capable of storing a program up to 512 kilobytes in size. These memory slots allow the Load and Go to store programs, which can then be loaded onto a target system at a later time without the need of a PC. Let's begin by storing a program to the Load and Go's memory and programming a device. Connect the Load and Go to the PC's USB port before invoking CCS Load. Otherwise, CCS Load will not recognize the Load and Go as being connected. The Load and Go is powered through the USB cable. CCS Load is a programmer control software utility that allows a user to program microcontrollers along with performing diagnostics and modifying operational settings. If CCS Load is not installed, it is available as a free download on our website. When CCS Load opens, there will be a ribbon along the top of the window with tabs that allow access to many different features of the software. On the Device tab, a user can select a hex file to be programmed to an MCU, along with other options such as reading a hex file from it, erasing it, and verifying that it's either blank or matches the file currently loaded. The Settings tab allows modification to the CCS Load software and how the microcontroller performs by changing the areas of memory the programmer can access and modify for various operations, protecting the MCU's memory, or by viewing diagnostic files. The File tab allows the contents of the currently loaded hex file to be viewed and modified within the software by changing the set fuses or by including serial numbers for mass programming. After CCS Load opens and connects to the Load and Go, a Memory Programming section will appear in the Information ribbon across the top of the window under the Device tab with five selectable options for programming. In order to store a program into the memory of the Load and Go, select the memory location in the Load and Go you wish to store the program to. Let's store our program into memory slot number 3. This will allow the program to be available for future programming without the need to connect the load and go to a PC. If the memory slot is selected, the corresponding LED on the load and go will light up green. For this example, we will store the blinking LED program from the CCSC Compiler Quick Start webinar to the load and go's memory. Hex files created by the CCSC compiler enable CCS load to automatically choose the correct target device. If the hex file was created with another compiler, you will need to choose the target device manually. After the hex file has been loaded, click the Write to Chip button to write the program to the selected memory slot. After programming is complete, a message window will appear stating if the programming has completed without errors. Now that the program has been stored to the Load and Go's memory, you can write the programming file's name directly on the laminate to indicate which slot it's been loaded into. The name can be erased later without damaging the laminate. You can now use the Load and Go without a PC to program the target system. First, plug in the Load and Go with a 9 volt power cord or insert 4 AA batteries. While running off batteries, the Load and Go has an auto off feature which will turn it off after 5 minutes of inactivity in order to conserve battery power. Connect the Load and Go to the target board using a modular cable. Press the on-off button on the Load and & Go and the green LED next to it will illuminate. Use the Program Select button to cycle through the memory slots on the Load and & Go. We will need to select memory slot number 3 in order to load our LED blinking program onto the target board. Press the Load button to write the program to the target board. During the programming process, the status LED on the Load and & Go will blink green. Once programming is complete, the status LED should remain green. However, we can see that the status LED is blinking red. This means a problem has occurred during the programming process. Check all connections to make sure everything is plugged in correctly, the target board is powered up, and that the proper slot has been selected before attempting to reprogram the board. In this case, the target board's power supply was disconnected. 
powering up the target board resolves the issue. Later I'll show you how to set the load and go up to supply power to the target board. Once programming is complete, disconnect the target board from the load and go. Test the blinking LED program by ensuring that the green LED on the board is blinking in one second intervals. If you want to program an MCU but are unable to supply it with power, the load and go has the ability to supply either 5 volt, 3.3 volt, or 2.5 volt power to the target board. In order to set the voltage level that needs to be supplied to the target board, remove the four screws in the corners of the load and go's case and remove the back cover. Inside the load and go, under the ICD plug, there will be a set of pins with the voltages they supply listed next to them. Connect a jumper between the pins to supply the desired voltage and then remove the jumper once programming is complete. This method is only to supply power to target boards that currently have no power, so programming can be completed. A word of caution though, if these jumpers are set to a voltage higher than a target board can handle, or if the board is already powered, there is a risk of damaging or burning out the board. When the load and go is shipped, there are no jumpers set to supply voltage, which helps avoid this problem for first time users. CCS offers several programming and debugging solutions to fit your needs, ranging from production and handheld programmers to powerful in circuit debuggers. The battery operated load and go handheld in circuit programmer simplifies updating equipment that has already been deployed in the field. With a simple to use push button interface, technicians and engineers can quickly install new software without the need to carry a PC. Priced at only $199, it's an economical yet powerful tool for your engineering and support teams, enabling them to keep products running at peak performance. Order yours today 